Bitcoin was finally rejected around $50,000, the red rectangle on the charts that you have been seeing on this channel. Also, today is a very important day for the channel because we also achieved some milestones. So, this and much more coming your way. Stay tuned, the podcast is about to begin. Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today Wednesday, the middle of the week, and we are going to check the weekly chart, of course. But uh, the most important chart that we probably will see today is the chart that we will analyze to see where this retracement could be stopping. Uh, just before that, I would like to say a few words of thank you to all of you guys that have been watching this channel since day one or even if you started later than that because today is an important day we finally achieved our final milestone so the first milestone was of course to achieve at least 1000 subscribers and the second milestone which was set since the start was to achieve the 4000 public hours watched and this is very important because from now on the channel will be able to be or will be eligible to be a YouTube partner program. Gently touch the like button, as usual, and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Of course, share it with your friends if you think that this content will help them. And also, don't forget to join, and I will put here the message on the screen. Don't forget to join the Telegram group. The link is just on the screen right now, and you can use it on a browser. You will be taken to a page where you can click the button and automatically you will join the Telegram group where I publish my trades and also where everyone can discuss Bitcoin and the markets in general. So guys, uh, without further delay, let's go to the chart. So let me just start by the price to time model and not this one. So here we are, the price to time model, and I will zoom in as usual for those of you using the phone. So right now we have been having our first red week. So the first time after all these uh, candles here, so one, two, three, four, five, we have been having five weeks on the green. And right now we started the retracement that we talked about. However, I don't expect this to be such a heavy retracement as the one we had before, like 56% here and a few other retracements that we had also, also. But right now, I expect at least a small retracement and we will discuss it on the last chart of the video. But for now, the price to time model continues to be on track. We are just a bit delayed compared to the 2017 cycle, but I'm really optimistic optimistic about the charts. So let's see what that entails. Right now, we are above the 2 trillion mark again. And we had, of course, the red triangle. We had the red triangle here on the total market cap, which indicates reversal. And we have been going down for a while already. So the total market cap, as expected before, I expected it to retrace around the 1.6, which happened a bit. Here it is. This is the retracement around 1.6 trillion. Then I said that we would retrace again around the resistance context, which is the gray box above here, above the price action. Also happened here, and we had a small retracement to 1.8. And then finally, we had our final leg, uh, I would even say that this is a, an Elliott wave count five, and now we are retracing. So we had the final leg up, which took us to around 2.2 trillion, and we are now again retracing a bit. So regarding the market cap, we continue to go up, and of course with some retracements along the way, but right now it's probably time to hold on your horses and see what's going to happen next. So let's see, the Bitcoin dominance continues to be around 44%, 44.5. This has been just ranging around 43, 44, 46, 48. So it's been around this area, but it's probably going a bit lower before going back up again. 
So that's my uh, that's my view on this chart. I'm expecting a bit lower dominance for Bitcoin and then uh, a, a new start or a new beginning for the um, leg up here on the market. Uh, sorry, on the um, Bitcoin dominance. So, but let's go. Let's go to the weekly chart, which I was talking about on the intro of the podcast. And here it is. Uh, so according to what I've been saying on this channel, we had the three conditions met. This candle had to close above 46 and a half. It closed or 47 and it closed around 47.21. Then the second point was not to break this 20 week SMA to the downside. And the third point would be that this candle here, the previous week candle had to close on the green. So that all all those three conditions, all those three items of the list were checked and achieved by Bitcoin price action. And then I also said, expect a retracement when we get to the 48,000 or $50,000 level. So here it is. This is the week where we are now retracing. But where will this retracement take us? We will see that a bit to the um, a bit further, uh, closer to the end of the video, and then we will discuss it. So the weekly chart looks very good. I'm not expecting a very, very big retracement. We could, uh, the best scenario would be not to cross the opening of this candle, which was around $47,000 and 21, $47, thousand and twenty one dollars and that would be the lowest price that I would like to see on the red candle so that this red candle does not become an engulfing candle so let me just take you guys closer here with a zoom so I would like this red candle not to cross below this level which is the opening of that candle over there and this is the forty forty seven thousand dollars uh, that would be a very very bullish sign if that happens. However, if the red candle continues to go down and crosses the $47,000 level, then this will become an engulfing candle and that's a bearish signal. So that might trigger a retracement a, big, a bit bigger than we were expecting. But right now, the weekly chart continues to be one of the charts I like the most. The RSI continues to, it's just going sideways here. So it's not even, uh, it's neutral, it's not bearish or bullish. And the MACD continues to be bullish because we have already two red, two green bars, sorry, two green bars. And the blue line is, of course, above the orange line. So this indicates that at least for the weekly chart, we are still having a bullish momentum. Okay, so that's good for the weekly analysis. Uh, let's take a look at the daily and the daily will give us some hints about already some hints about the possible uh, support levels for this retracement. The first one of them being of course the $46,000 and this will be the conjunction between the 200 SMA, the purple line you guys see here on screen and also the green line which is the 20 period SMA, so in this case days. So this is the 20 days SMA, the 200 days SMA, they have just crossed. And of course, this will be a very, very good support for the price action if we continue to go down. So I would bet that the first level of support will be around the 46,000, which also corresponds, by the way, to this level here of resistance that we had previously. So as you guys can see, we had resistance around this level, the 46,000. We went back three candles and then finally we broke it to the upside when the MRI top just showed up here. So right now the daily chart gives us a first hint of one of the first levels of support, which will not be very, very strong, of course, but it could help to contain the price action to the downside. So right now, 46 is one of the levels that we should take into account and be looking for. Uh, also, the RSI is a bit neutral, not right now on the daily chart, but we have been very, very close. We have been already in overbought territory here and here, and now we have been very, very close to the, to the, to the borderline here, and then we retraced a bit. But for now, the RSI is just a bit neutral, going sideways, and not even trying to find support around this white trend line here. 
This white trend line here is the line that I hope will contain the price action in case of a big drop from those levels. And of course, this will be my last line of support when the RSI achieves this line again, as it did here when we had the last swing low. And of course, in other different uh, um, periods of the chart where we had already support found on this uh, white trend line on the RSI. The daily also is telling us that we might start to see a bit of a bearish trend here for this retracement. We have already two red bars and the blue line is below the orange. So the daily chart is showing us that despite the weekly chart just becoming bullish on the MACD, we might have a few days of retracement and this is what I'm expecting for now, as I said in the videos, in the previous videos, I'm expecting this retracement to happen. And this is very healthy and also an opportunity to accumulate more Bitcoin while it goes down for the next swing low. So, guys, keep an eye on the daily chart also, because one of the first hints is, of course, the $46,000 level, 46,100, 46,200, around that. Uh, that's it for the daily chart. Let me just check on the four hours how we're doing in the BitMEX funding rate. So the BitMEX funding rate is now going negative. This is, of course, good market sentiment for the bulls and is, of course, sending the price back up. And this is an engulfing candle here. So we found support on the 50 period SMA and we engulfed the previous candle, which was red. So for now, the price is in the really, really short term. I mean, in terms of four hour charts going up. However, on the daily chart, we still saw that there is a possibility for a bit more of uh, a, a short bearish trend there, a small retracement that could take us around to 46,000. So let's see how that goes. But for the four hour chart right now, we have been. Um, we found support here at the white trend line on the RSI and we are already turning back uh, up here at the MACD. So the MACD is about to find some support around these levels and probably going back up a bit. So let's see how that goes too. But regarding the funding rate, we are in, new, in uh, negative territory now. So that is also a good sentiment for the bulls. So that's it for the four hours. Let's take a look here at the dollar. So the dollar has been coming down since it hit this resistance line that I plotted some really, really long weeks ago. Uh, at least four, eight, ten, at least ten weeks ago, I plotted this orange dashed line here, which corresponds to the last swing high. The dollar just hit that line, tried to go above it, but then it was rejected and is now going back down. So the dollar having very, very big difficulties to go back up. Uh, and I continue to wait for the day where this will again uh, try to break the try to break the support around the 90 to 89, this orange rectangle you guys see here, and break down this support and continue lower than 89 on the Dixie. So let's see how that goes. Let's see gold quickly. So gold has been struggling to get above the white trend line again. However, we did not cross below. We did not close any candles below this uh, red trend line here, which is the bearish trend line. And that's very good. We went below it. We found support here at the MRI bottom. And then we went back up and closed the candle above the opening. So that's good. We, we are now above the red trend line here on gold and also trying to find our way to go above the white trend line, which is the bullish trend line. So let's see how gold evolves. I am still confident that this was the low of the year, this candle here on the week of 8th of March, and that the 1674 or 1675 level was the lowest level for gold this year. Let's see if that continues to the end of the year, but I still believe in that, and I think that gold will cross the uh, white trend line soon, um, taking gold to, again, bullish territory and continuing to go up. So as you guys know, many people use gold as a hedge against the hyperinflation of the dollar that everyone is expecting. So let's see how that goes. 
And that's it, guys, for gold. Let's take a look at the SMP. The SMP continues to surprise us. So we had four MRI tops. We had several extensions along the way. On the last, uh, on the previous two weeks, we had an extension A, and now on this week we have an extension C. However, the uh, the SMP is surprising everyone, continuing to go up. So this is uh, very very strange. I mentioned this already in, uh, in in previous videos. I consider this a synthetic move of the SMP. I don't believe this is organic or anymore because of all the dollar printing that is coming out of the Fed. And that for sure is pushing this market up. So that's my opinion. Sooner or later, we will see a correction on the SMP. And I bet that day is really, really close and coming. So let's see how that goes. But I'm expecting at least uh, 10 to 15, probably 20, but 10 to 15 percent correction here at the SMP. Okay, let's go to the final chart. And this is the chart that we will discuss a bit more about the levels. So right now we are experiencing a retracement here on Bitcoin after being rejected around 50,000 and a half. So where could this take us? Well, we could find support around the 46, 47 level as we have found already for this daily candle here. So today has been uh, um, the candle has been going up a bit, so it's on the green, but I'm still expecting a small retracement on Bitcoin. So where could these retracements take us? Let's see. So we have the 46,000 level, which is this area of support here. And then we have... The strongest support of all is, of course, the green rectangle down here and goes from 42,000 to 38,000. And this green rectangle corresponds to this accumulation area, to this resistance area, and to this resistance area here, back here in January, right at the beginning of 2021. This was the first resistance of the year. Very, very strong resistance. It sent us back down to around 29 and 900 before we achieved all-time highs later in March or April. Uh, April. So this is a very, very good line of support, the 42,000, but I'm still expecting that we could retrace to around 46,000. 46 and a half. So in between those two levels, 46 to 46 and a half, will be a very, very good support. The first support line after the rejection around 50 and a half thousand. And then, of course, there is a second level of support, which will come around the 44,000. And this is that level here. Let me just try to put it here. So these are the levels where I'm expecting Bitcoin to find some support. So this one will be the first 46 to 46 and a half. And then we have one around the 44, 44, 200 before we actually go to the bottom here to the final big support that i expect will hold the price always not going below the red trend line and not going below the green support area so this will be the levels i'm expecting for now and i can tell you being completely transparent as you guys know i've been publishing my trades on the telegram group and right now i have one buy position here and one buy position here. So I have two limit orders around these levels, the white lines you guys see here. And of course, if we continue to go down, so this is my DCA down. If we continue to the $42,000 area, this is where I will continue to buy again Bitcoin because I'm expecting a move that could take us either to these levels or to the final support around 42,000 or I mean, when I say 42,000, I mean this green rectangle here. So it could be just a bit lower or just a bit um, above that. But in any case, this is what I'm expecting. This is what I publish, uh, being completely transparent on the Telegram group. And you guys know that these are the levels where I have set my limit orders in order to accumulate some more Bitcoin during this retracement. So to summarize then, I believe that uh, according to the levels that you guys can see on the chart, 
I will be accumulating more Bitcoin if we get to 46,000 or to 44,000. And of course, if we continue to go lower, I will uh, get my big entries around 42,000 in order to get this dip. And then I'm expecting a continuation to the upside. Now, no one knows the future. No one knows if the 46,000 will support Bitcoin or the 44 or the 42. But I bet that even if we break the 46 and we break the 44, the big, big strong support will come around 42,000. And that's where I'm expecting a final draw for Bitcoin to reverse again to the upside. So let's see, I'm betting on accumulation uh, on, on the accumulation of Bitcoin, DCAing down while this retracement occurs. I already bought one position. So this one was bought around 47,900. Uh, just with the expectation that if we don't go lower, then at least I bought this small dip from the 50,000 where I sold some positions and I also got short. Then my short position was closed already and I bought one position in Bitcoin around the 47,900. Now I have more positions waiting. So if the levels continue to allow uh, Bitcoin to go down, then I will continue to DCA to the final point where I think we will reverse if everything else fails on the way there. So, which is the 42,000. So this is my analysis for today. I hope that I answered all the questions. Of course, um, everyone was trying to get my answer about what are the levels that you are expecting to support the price action of Bitcoin while we have this retracement going. So to summarize it all, 46,000 or 46 and a half, so something around those levels, in between those those two levels. Then 44,100, 44,200 will be my next level. And then the 42,000. Sorry, I don't remember if I said 44 or 42. So 46, 44, 42. Those are the levels I'm expecting to support Bitcoin. If either one of them fails, then I get to the next level. I accumulate more sets and I will... Uh, definitely hope that Bitcoin will reverse the price action from this retracement, uh, if not before, but at least around 42,000. So that is the analysis for today, guys. I hope I answered all your questions that you have written on the Telegram group and also some other people ask me also on Twitter. And I hope that today being this uh, important milestone for the channel, you also celebrate with me in being happy that the channel final achieved all the milestones that YouTube um, set us to do since the beginning. So today, for those that didn't see the, the first part of the video, of course, we achieved the milestone of the 4,000 public watched hours. So right now we are eligible to be uh, a YouTube partner uh, or to be in the YouTube partner program. So let's see how that goes. I will post the news, of course, on the Telegram group as usual. Uh, together with my trades and let me just publish here if you want to join the telegram group of course here's the link to do so you can use your browser you will see a page with a button you click there and automatically join the group that's very very easy and of course right now i will leave you guys with the wise words all right let's roll hey let's be careful out there just before we roll, guys, gently touch the like button if you enjoy this content. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and share it with your friends. And don't forget to the Telegram group. And now, yes, let's roll, guys, and be really careful out there in the markets. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.